look at this question 1 ninth times 45. What we're not going to do is to say, well, look, this just means divide, put the 9 under the 45, you know, and use some symbolic method. At the point where the students are learning how to do this and learning what it means, we want to help them to understand it. So here's my suggestion. Give the students large pieces of paper and felt pens or crayons or something like that that they can draw with. Ask them to draw a shape. And for ninths, it's probably easiest if you say draw a square because that's going to make it easy to make it into nine pieces. Let's say, all right, uh, divide that into nine equal pieces. And it doesn't matter how the students do it, but they might work out that if you did three rows of three, that's a nice simple way of doing it. Now we want to put 45 objects or pictures in that shape so that they are evenly distributed among the parts. Now I can draw dots, but instead I'm going to write symbols here. The students should quickly understand, providing they know their nine times table, that they're going to be f five objects in each set. And that quickly gives us our answer. So if we have one ninth to 45, it's the same as dividing by nine. And there's our answer. So we can relate this back to the number facts, the times tables the students have done, five nines of 45. We can turn all of that around and look at the related number fact. 45 divided by 9 is 5. One ninth of 45 is 9. Great. So they're one step questions. They're, the symbols are different and we use fraction language and fraction pictures. But once we can make that connection between fractions and division, these are not hard. Now let's look at the follow up question. Supposing the next question was 6 ninths times 45. So we have the same whole number, 45, the same denominator but a different numerator. This is now a two-step question, but providing you know the answer to the first one, this isn't going to be that hard. Now using the diagram that the students drew earlier, we could ask them to shade or circle six ninths of the shape. Quite an easy question, assuming they know that you know that they're familiar with fractions. And then we could say, well, what will that answer be if we see there are fives in each of the ninths? Six of those equals 30. There's our answer. So we can relate this to this one and say that 5 multiplied by 6, that's an equal sign by the way, equals 30. So as I said, there are two steps to it, but what we don't, again, to emphasize the point, I suppose, what we don't want them to do is to learn some algorithmic do this, then do that, then do the other method at this point. When they're just getting used to it, we want to say, well, do you know what one ninth is? Work out one ninth, multiply that by six because we've got six of them and so on.